Hi, welcome to the Light of Deception. Today I'm going to continue in our series about what is going on in today's public schools, Christian schools and private schools. What is going on in today's schools overall? Now, this is not all schools. This is a lot. There's diamonds in the rough that haven't caved into the avalanche of deception that's going out and is going and teaching and brainwashing and indoctrinating your children. You will be shocked what's going on in social studies. So this is going to be part two in comprehensive sex education. So this is what's being taught. Let's start off with fourth grade. So in today's public schools, probably in today's um, private schools as well and that have bought into this, this is what your fourth grade fourth graders being taught in social studies. Now we are to love all people. That is, of course, anybody. God loves everybody equally, right? So um, this is not about love. This is about something that parents should have the right to teach their children at home. These are the things that we can be taught through the, the Bible at home, through biblical principles at home. And this is not the right of the education system to teach your children. So here it goes. It says, lesbians, so lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgenders, LGBT Californians, have also had the struggle for these rights for many years. Two important early gay and lesbian right um, groups, they, they are called Mad Asian Society and the Daughters of Bilatus, were founded in California in 1950s. California gay and lesbian right groups worked hard to end discrimination. In 1978, acti activists fought against a proposed law that would have banned gays and lesbian peoples from working as teachers. Now, the law was defeated. One of the activists who proposed it was Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk was an outspoken voice in the struggle for gay and lesbian rights. Milk was elected in the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1977. He was a California's first openly gay public official. So there you go. So is this what we should be learning in school about people's sexual preferences? I, I, I just don't understand how this... How, Anybody's getting away with this. Sexual, comprehensive sexual education. So the next one I'm going to be bringing up to you is also going to be, um, so that was fourth grade. This one is going to be covering third grade. So again, it says Harvey Milk was a political leader and a gay activist in the 1970s. Gay men are attracted to other men. Milk was elected to a local government office in San Francisco in 1977. He was one of the first elected officials in history to tell the public that he was gay. Milk worked hard to protect gay and lesbian rights. Lesbians are women who are attracted to other women. Milk's work also made it easier for gay, lesbian, and bisexuals, those attracted to both men and women, and the transgender groups to stand up for their rights. So is this what you want your third and fourth grader learning? Now, I'm going to come back in just a little bit and talk to you about first and second grade. But not only that, I'm going to let you see a little bit about what's going on in kindergarten. Here it is. Some people think, oh, boys should only do this, and girls should only do that, or girls should think this, and boys should think that. It's not true. And I told my dad, I want some purple skinny jeans. He was like, are you crazy? My closet was literally pink, and now it's almost all blues, blacks, and browns. We remember that gender is not binary, right? There's a spectrum. We'd been discussing a lot of the gender issues in class. And to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. Some of them seemed to be really thinking about it. I think it had never occurred to him that you could look at the world this way, that you could take off these labels. Turns out that they couldn't stop talking. I like to wear sneakers, jeans, and I don't like yeah, dolls. I hate so the color paint. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It matters what kind of person you are. It says here that she is too weak to stand up for herself. Are you too weak to stand up for yourself? No. No. 
If I give you a marker, I want you to look at that color of marker and think to yourself, is this a boy color? Yes. Or is this a girl color? Or could this be both? I thought that it was different, like you should dress like a girl if you're a girl, but I don't think that anymore. Raise your hand if you're a boy and you can dance. Stand up, everybody can dance. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like doing things that boys like doing, like climbing trees and making paper airplanes. It's okay to be what you want to be. I was born as a girl. And then on the inside, I feel in the middle. Think about your own issues. Think about what it brings up for you. Think about what you want for your children in the classroom. You'd be surprised at how open-minded parents are, and even more so, how welcoming children are to learning about this. You see kids embracing each other, loving each other. And that's the kind of community that we want to foster and model for the world. So what is happening in today's schools? Are you shocked? Or did you see this, ever expect this to be happening? This should be handled at home. Anything that you're going to be teaching your children about sexual education should be taught in the home, not in school, not in kindergarten, first, second, third, and fourth grade, right? Not at even fifth. This, these are things that the parents should be handling at home. You can handle it in a biblical, biblical perspective. Talk to going back to the Word of God to see what the Word of God says about this. The creator of the universe, right, gave us the guidelines to bring up, rear up your children in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from this. So who is trying to win the souls of your children? Who is trying to win the hearts of your children? Who is trying to win the minds of your children? What's going in their ears and what they're seeing? So they all of a sudden, what is right is now wrong and what is wrong is now right and then we live in an upside down and backwards world yes love everybody right everybody it doesn't matter and it doesn't matter what the skin color is because nobody's looking at the color of the skin it's a matter of the heart it is not the skin color of people god made everybody in his own image man and women he made them in his own his own image so if we can see things through the heart of love if we can see things through the heart of scripture, then we can see what truly is right and what truly is wrong. So when we're looking at, um, again, we're talking about first graders and second graders here. It says, it talks about um, Jose Soraya, uh, Julio Soraya, was the leader in California. He ran for public office in 1961. He decided to be honest, he told people he was gay and believed strongly in equal rights. He felt all people should be treated fairly. He did not win, but he made people know they had a, to pay attention. They had to pay attention to the rights of all people. So Jose Julio Sirara was, a, the, was the founder of the Worldwide Help Group. This group fights for equal rights. For Sarera, honesty gave him strength. It inspired other leaders to run for office too. Okay. Why does this even have to be in the public ear? And, and why does this have to be, this is private stuff, right? Private stuff. Does that need to be out in the public eye? Do, do we have to have to be teaching our children these kind of things? And at what age do you teach them? And it, shouldn't that be the right of the parents to tell you the age? And this is first and second graders. So this is the last one, the same thing. I'm bringing it up for you. So it says here, so first and second grade. Gavin Newsom, champion for people's rights. Biographies tell, um, biographies tell stories. They can show how people cause change. Gavin Newsom was the mayor of San Francisco. Gavin said that people could marry who they chose. Sometimes Gavin helped marry people. Some marriages were not between a man and a woman. He made sure that people's rights were respected. Okay, so this is the, what the questions are going to be asking. Write about changes Gavin Newsom made as mayor to respect people's rights. And so the other one from the other questions would have been talking about Jose, the same kind of 
uh, question, what did he, how did he enact change by standing up and telling people he was gay? So why was it, would this be in elementary school as early as first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade? These are just the four grades that I touched on and we saw about what's going on in kindergarten. So why is the system trying to win the hearts and mind of your children? They would turn them against the things you're rearing them and the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. And if they change their mindset that no matter what anybody wants to do, what is right for them is right for them. And what is right for you is right for you. And, and all this stuff, different things, it's going to take them back from standing on biblical principles and standing on the word of God. He is the creator of everything that we see. He gave every one of us breath of life. He knows he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. And there is a way that seemeth right to a man, but in the end is destruction. So do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. I say this all the time because it's so incredibly true. Our ways are not God's ways. His ways are higher than ours. Right? And Jesus paid that ultimate price for all of us. Right, to break us, we all are sinful, right? In us, there's nothing good in us. But Jesus died, and he, he caused us to be free from that bondage of sin and death. Right, so how could we make it our way? What seems right to us, is it right, or is it truly wrong? You have to make that decision for your family and for your children. Thank you for listening. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.